Hey, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the DVC Show. I am your host, Paul Krieger, and I am joined at the table this week by my lovely wife, Amy Krieger. Hello. Uh, DVC resale market agent, uh, Danny Metzger, is here with us as well. Hey, y'all. And back in the nook, we've got John Sakari, a.k.a. Big Fat Panda. How are you guys? We're great. How are you? Good. Uh, thank you all for joining us this week. Uh, Pete had to jump on a call, so that is why you don't see him in his typical chair this uh, episode. But uh, yes, the, the <laughs> empty chair of Pete is next to me, and we miss him dearly already. And uh, just uh, before we get started with the episode, as always, if you love this content that we produce on DVC Fan, please show some love for our sponsors over at the world of DVC. DVC Resale Market, if you're looking to buy or sell a Disney Vacation Club contract, that is going to be the best place for you. Monera Financial is going to help you with that purchase of a Disney Vacation Club contract. And DVC Rental Store, if you're looking to rent some points, rent out some points, you can get a great rate at staying in a deluxe Disney Vacation Club villa. That is going to be the home for you. So if you love this content, please, as always, show some love to our sponsors. This week, we are kicking off another edition of our Resort Spotlight series, and we are focusing on Old Key West Resort, or I guess as I would say, the original Disney Vacation Club property, the OG of the Disney mm -hmm. Vacation Club world, um, and actually wasn't even called Old Key West yeah. when yeah. it first opened. Yep. It actually changed over in 1996 wow. to Old Key West <laughs> from the Disney Vacation Club. <laughs> This fun, fun fact, fact. Fun. brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. I, I wasn't ready for that. I moment. love it. So, so yeah, so we still see a lot of deeds and sometimes contracts that still, still list the original name. So it's always cool to see. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So uh, Old Key West, the original Disney Vacation Club resort. And also, I always say this about, about the property. I don't think we'll ever see a Disney Vacation Club property like Old Key West ever again. You know, it was, it was sort of the step into the water uh, or step into the, the kiddie pool in terms of Disney Vacation Club or timeshares in general for Disney. And then it blew up into something massive. That yeah. is where and we're at now. A big thank you to all of those members who <laughs> bought back in 90, 1991 who made it what it is today. It is always so fun when I meet a member and I look up their account and their membership number is like 12 wow. <laughs> because now membership numbers are like yeah. 10 numbers long but yeah those someone are... has like number 12 oh yeah oh my god i never knew somebody this. has number one right yeah unless unless they don't anymore well <laughs> i don't know if it started with one i mean i if don't know you, it's just, their numbers are really small if your member number is within the first 20 Send us an email, comment on the video. We're going to have you on the show. We are going to find a way to have you on the show because that would just be wild would be to cool. see. Like, and it can't, I, I can't, it's got to be that you like were an original owner too. If they're trying to recycle numbers or something like that, and they, they give out a member number again or something. No, I don't, I don't think they do that. I don't think they've gotten to that point with the numbers, but. So actually when I was working on board Disney Cruise Line as a Disney Vacation Club guide, I met a gentleman who said, I used to write letters to Disney every year. You should create a timeshare at Walt Disney World. And I was like, can I give you a hug? <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Like and then, lo and behold. And he said he couldn't even join um, at first because there were some restrictions. You had to live in certain states. They didn't mm -hmm. have, you know, the the rights to sell to every state. And so yeah. when the, it opened, he wasn't even able to be one of the first people to buy. Aww. But he was one of the reasons why they started. So. We're not at all familiar with restrictions at Disney Vacation <laughs> Club at all. But uh, it's nice to hear that they've been around from the beginning. Yeah. But um, Old Key West Resort, yeah, we've been there several occasions. It is an absolute beautiful resort, sort of framed around the golf course there right by Disney Springs. And it just, I think the one big takeaway, and I think the first part that we should start with, it's just the rooms themselves and how big they are. These are absolutely enormous rooms. And like I said before, these are, this is something that you're never going to probably see with Disney Vacation Club again. You know, they went with a very spread out, like I said, it is over the course of nine holes of a golf course or something like that, at least. Uh, um, and they 
used the land throughout the golf course area to build these small little buildings throughout that house uh, a certain number of the Disney Vacation Club rooms. And now the norm is to go vertical, go go as small of a footprint as possible and go with as many many floors as possible. And that's what we've seen with Riviera, Disneyland Tower. It's what we're going to see with the Polynesian. But these rooms are massive. And Danny, you unfortunately just checked out of one this morning. I, I had a very good night's sleep inside of a two bedroom two at bedroom. Old Key oh West. And it was magnificent. My sister had never stayed in a two bedroom before. And she walked in and she's like, I'm pretty sure square footage wise, this is like the size of my house. It's, it's a little crazy. The, the master bedroom could have fit four more king beds. And I was like, who is using all... It actually felt too big. I was like... There are two bathtubs. There are two bathtubs inside just the master bedroom. Then there's another bathtub in the other bedroom as well. But what room do you know that has a huge jacuzzi tub and like the smaller tub that we bathe my niece my niece in, which is great if you have you know little ones because you can't bathe them in that huge thing unless you want to go swimming, basically. <laughs> but no, I mean the rooms are so big, and you know we hear from members all the time. Old Key West is my home away from home. Um, when you hear that welcome home, you really think of Old Key West because it is like staying at your home away from home. It it, it, is. it is it's huge. The the rooms are amazing there. Yeah, and uh, from the rooms to the cast members, everything about the resort, just I think that everyone that works there or that anyone that owns there kind of has that sense of pride that it is the first Disney Vacation Club property and it has that allure to it. But um, it is up there probably within like the top five resorts for me. Uh, Amy always is surprised when I sort of say it, but I like that it's a little bit removed. So most of the time when we talk Disney Vacation Club, especially from like the rental perspective, we get a lot of people that are wanting to be in the center of the action. So they want to be right there around Magic Kingdom, around Epcot. But Old Key West is kind of like that little step away from Disney, but you're at Disney and you feel it when you're there. You know you're still at Disney, but at the same time, it just kind of like it can take you to that full escape and sort of immerse you into that atmosphere when you're there. And I'd, I'd be happy just hanging out, <laughs> hanging out at the resort. So I was curious about the exact square footage of the rooms. Um, so particularly like one bedroom and up are, are some of the largest. So uh, an Old Key West one bedroom is uh, 1,005 square feet. That is the largest one bedroom uh, DVC. And then two bedrooms, the Old Key West two bedroom is, I I need to get some glasses, reading glasses, 1,000, uh, make sure I got the right one. Oops, I was reading Hilton Head. 1,395, um, that puts it, it, I still think it's the biggest two bedroom. So one, so one bedroom is 1,005. It's the biggest one bedroom. Two bedrooms, 1,395. It is also the biggest two bedroom. And then the Grand Villa. Um, two story Grand Villa. Two story Grand Villa is. 2,100, I'm guessing. It's more than that. Really? It is um, 2,375,000 wow. square feet. That is larger than our house. Yeah. By the way, our house is four bedrooms and is a 2,000, like a little over 2,000. Um, and it is close to the largest. Um, the the Grand Floridian Grand Villa is, is bigger. And there's one other that's bigger. Um, but it's very, very close. Um, that is huge. huge. Like a vacation space at Disney World that is bigger than my house. Yeah, you're renting a house. Like that, yeah, that just that just blows my mind. But yeah, so like Old Key West, it's just they are they're just really good sized rooms. So that's like when people always ask on the the DVC fan group, like I am bringing this many people, and it's like a big extended family. Um, where should I stay? And so many people chime in and say Old Key West. Go to Old Key West. You're gonna have the most space. You're gonna be more comfortable. Um, so, you know, so go there and, and Paul and I, we, we've gotten to stay in a one bedroom twice now, which is plenty big, you know, for us. And it's just like, like you could like play football in there. Like, it's just huge. She's not even kidding. If I thought that. <laughs> yeah. All the, all the owners are like, please don't play football. We're going to pay more in annual dues. We already pay a lot in annual dues. <laughs> so. 
but yeah. no, yeah, to, to those points, it is just uh, you are going to get the most bang for your buck in terms of space. And the point charts to boot are also going to be incredibly mm. cheap in terms of what you're paying. Do you have an idea of what you guys paid like per night for the stay? Or? 40, I think it was 46 points a night. See that, and that's and that's for a two bedroom. Yeah. Which, if you compare that to like Riviera Point, charts, spring break week, spring spring break week, um, you compare that to Riviera, like the the studio point charts can get outrageous during some some time frames. Uh, let alone the one bedrooms, two bedrooms. I imagine are pushing seventy, eighty, or more yeah. in terms of that that equal time frame. I don't have that uh, in front of me at the moment, but. Uh, Old Key West is also special for other reasons as well. So originally, Old Key West, as the original Disney Vacation Club property, was going to expire in the year 2042. Uh, but Disney had the bright idea several years back to try to extend it, sort of say, hey, why, owners probably don't want to leave this property in 2042. They probably want some more time here. So they did the one and only extension of any Disney Vacation Club property by allowing owners the opportunity to add 15 more years to that contract, extending the expiration to 2057. Now, you've heard us talk about that many, many times before on this show. It was a tremendous train wreck of a failure uh, <laughs> in terms of getting members to convert and upgrade their contract to that 2057. There are owners that did it. There are owners that didn't do it and are still holding out. And that's one reason why we've seen in recent history, Disney aggressively buy back old Key West to sort of try to get more and more of that resort flipped to that 2057. Because if they don't, they're going to have half of the resort that is empty come 2050, 2042 and half of it that has owners that are extending their points in and they probably don't want to be in that situation. And then you have a ton of owners who have no idea if they did it or not. <laughs> that, that, is, that is very true, yes. Uh, there were there were people that did not sign anything and Disney tried their best to make them even sign a, a document, I think, that was like releasing their interest at 2042, but a lot of them didn't do it. So most there, there there's a whole thread, I think, on disboards and rumor mills and people that have looked into it that even said, even if you didn't extend, you've got it till 2057 right now. So... Yeah, we don't know if that's true, but um, it's going to be interesting. Like, I'm just, I hope I'm around to see what happens. And we do get a lot of questions about that and extensions in general. Again, it is exclusive to Old Key West where this has happened. No other of the 2042 resorts have had an extension, nor should you anticipate one in right. terms of buying uh, or selling one of those contracts yeah. because of the these issues that we've already sort of discussed. And if you currently, sorry, Danny, if no, you no. currently own Old Key West, because someone did ask this question uh, in the comments when we were talking about 2042 resorts, if you own Old Key West and you own a 2042 contract, you can't just call Disney right now and ask for an extension. They don't, they don't do that anymore. If you are buying direct, it is automatically a 2057 um, contract. So it automatically is extended. Um, but on the resale market, you would have to actively seek out an actual extended contract. Right. And, and we do get those. So if you are looking for an extended Old Key West contract um, on DVCResaleMarket.com, go to status and then extended 2057 contracts and you will see some of those pop up. Um, and then, of course, if you're looking for one with a specific use here and you don't see it, just let us know and we can always uh, let you know as soon as one pops up. But um, there are a lot of rumors out there about <laughs> extensions for other resorts and they are exactly that. Just rumors. Just go off of what you know because we have no idea. Yeah. I mean, I worked direct for Disney, you know, for a while, and even we did not know. So don't don't listen to any <laughs> of those rumors. Up until now, we've been talking about the facts of the resort, but there's something in the air at Old Key West that I cannot describe. When you are walking around Olivia's or in the gift shop or just on the boat, there is a charm is. that is unfounded at other resorts. Mm -hmm. There is. And so, okay, I think one thing is, and Paul, you touched on this, is the cast members. I mean, there are cast members who have been there since mm -hmm. the day that it opened. And they yeah. recognize the members when they come back every single year mm -hmm. with their families. They know them by name. They're part of their family. And there's just something there mm -hmm. that you cannot get at any other resort. And... 
all of the villas, they look like little doll houses, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I just love. I was this morning, I woke up and I was taking a bunch of pictures of the resort because it's just so charming and you just mm -hmm. really feel like you're in a little doll house. Yeah, doll I've never house. thought of it like that. I always look at them and I'm like, what What do they remind me of? But you're right. Like, it kind of looks like like the architecture of like a dollhouse. Yep. That's and, funny. You know, when you go into Olivia's and you see all of the pictures of the members on the wall, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't see that at any mm -hmm. other resort. There really is just a, a really special charm about that resort. Yeah, it feels very like, like this is the original and this is like where a lot of like membership pride is like, you know, we've owned for so long and people who own Old Key West, like, like Derek said in a different show, like they go and try other resorts, but they always come back you know, and stay. Um, one thing that I really love about Old Key West is it just like, it feels so peaceful. It um, does. Yeah. And, and anywhere, you know, wh wherever your room is, you're usually <clears throat> looking over like a quiet golf course, a waterway. I love all the little like ponds and stuff with the little fountains in them. Um, but it's just so peaceful and, and there's, it's so sprawling and there's just, you know, if you want to run a story bike or they do regular bike rentals or you just, Paul and I really like walking and and lately i've been dragging him on on runs because we're we're training for our first my first paul's second run disney race but like when i think of like where can we run we stayed at we stayed at um wilderness lodge very recently last weekend this past weekend and i was like mm, there's not really a ton of room to like run you'd have to like kind of go in circles but at old key west like there's a lot of like great space for that and and like paths and stuff um and we walk to disney springs or you from could take old the key boat. west yeah you or you could take the boat but i love that path i love that path along the water walking over to saratoga springs um and then walking over from there to Disney Springs. So it is possible to, to walk to Disney Springs from Oki West. It's a little farther, but it's not a bad walk. Or, you know, like Danny said, you could take a boat. It's also cute how it's sort of divided into almost like separate little villages throughout the area as well. You've got the uh, Turtle Pond Road area, uh, the Peninsular Drive. Peninsular, yep. Peninsular Drive area. Um, and each one has sort of its own pool. I think there's a total of four pools at Old Key West in total. Uh, outside of, you've got the feature pool, but you've got all of these other little areas that have their sub little pool areas. And but again, I, I don't want to mistaken, it is a big resort. Mm -hmm. It is a very big resort, um, at, but there are internal buses that'll take you around the resort. Um, you can hop on any one of the other uh, buses that come through, depending on where you're headed and probably get off at the next stop and stuff like that. But super peaceful uh, and a wonderful place to sort of go around. Well, you guys were talking a little bit a minute ago. I did want to dive back into that point chart uh, situation a little bit more just to sort of compare some things. So I just looked at this coming Friday uh, at a, in a one bedroom, but a one bedroom standard villa at Old Key West would be 36 points for the coming Friday. If you compare that to a one bedroom at Riviera, that's going to be 53 points. So it really begins to show you just sort of how amazing it is here mm -hmm. and how you can get more bang for your points at Old Key West, uh, as opposed to some of these newer properties where they're inflating the value per night of these. Not to say anything negative about Riviera, but it's just sort of the, the lay of the land. You know, boardwalk's the same. You can get rooms at certain times for anywhere from 10 to 12 points uh, in certain seasons. So it is really a place where not only do you get a rather large villa, but you're getting it at a decent cost in terms of the number of points that mm -hmm. you're spending. Um, and to what you guys said as well, I just do, I 100% agree that it is a place where if you're a Disney Vacation Club member, it you have to experience it once. Yeah. You have to go um, to where all of this began and yeah. see sort of the pictures on the wall, the merch. This is a place where if yeah. you're looking for Disney Vacation Club merch, it is going to be the first place that has brand new merch that comes out um, just because it is that place that people know and associate with Disney Vacation Club. Um, diving into the food a little bit more. I'm a personal fan of Olivia's. I absolutely love mm -hmm. Olivia's. It is a hidden gem, that that restaurant. And there's a really like a cute little story behind it, too. Do you... Mm. Um, Ooh, regalas. <laughs> so uh, apparently, like, Olivia is, is a real person. And she, she used to, um, like, invite passerby. Is that the right word? Passerbyers? Passerbyers. Passer buyers, Passer buyers yeah. into her house and she would cook them home-cooked meals. And then she actually created a restaurant. That That's what I've heard. 
at least. I mean, I, don't, that, I never know, met I her personally. But. Do we know if it's a Disney story or a real thing? I don't know. I've just heard it over the years. You've okay. never heard that story? No. no I've oh. never heard that. Well, I've never met I, Olivia personally, so maybe I just made all of that up. <laughs> no, like I've it. heard it over the years. No, it's a it's a great, um, uh, to your point, a hidden gem. I, I'm a big breakfast buff myself. They've got an amazing brunch that they offer there. Uh, and anytime I'm there, again, it goes back to cast members, friendly, yeah. Always willing to help whatever you need, whatever you want, um, and just good food. It reminds me of like if you grew up and had like that diner that you loved yep. when you were growing up that so you went to true. on the weekends or something like that. And uh, it, you sort of had the, the same server that always served you and it just always felt like family there. I feel like that's some advertisement for it feels like family. I don't I would <sighs> love to know. How many members' grandkids think that their grandparents actually own a house <laughs> at Old Key West, right? Like, I, I, I can't even imagine because you just have generations and generations growing up at this resort. I mean, it, it started back in 1991, and I can't tell you how many people I've met over the years who, you know, they bought in when their kids were super young, and now their kids have kids of their own and they're bringing them back. And so I can't, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't even imagine how many people genuinely think that their grandparents, you yeah. know, have a second home <laughs> at Walt Disney World. So you, you had mentioned Olivia's backstory. So when we talked about like little hinge and places um, during a different show and we mentioned like the gurgling suitcase, I think, was it, it, I, I might've been Derek. I think that they said he like really liked it and he liked like the bartender there. But someone had said in the comments, like mentioned like the logo of the guy with the suitcase yes. and talked about how he was like related to like prohibition, which I thought was really interesting. So I looked it up really quickly. And so I didn't like, you don't think about this, like when you're like on Disney property and it's a bar on Disney property, but the, the gurgling suitcase is, it says that they would pack using their clothes to cushion the bottles, like the alcohol bottles. Um, so they wouldn't break in their suitcase. Law enforcement officers uh, would catch on to this practice. And when they stopped people, they would pick up the luggage and shake it to see if it gurgled. Oh, And so gosh. that is what the like meaning of the gurgling oh, suitcase is. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so... Our gurgling suitcase. Who'd have thunk? It Not was me. all, Who'd yeah, so it's like it? prohibition themed. Like, who would have? Who would have thought? That's great. A dollhouse <laughs> and prohibition. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got Olivia's Panda. You've been to Olivia's. You like yeah, it? Yeah. I love it. There's also something I know the whole the, the cast, the food, the feeling. There's something about when the sun comes in and you're having breakfast at Olivia's, mm -hmm. and you know that the excitement is just right outside. Mm -hmm. And the hub, you know, you can go to the parks, you go to the pool. It's just, it is great. I love it. The mm -hmm. whole feeling. I love that little outdoor area too that they have. Yes. Like it's, it's so cute. Yeah. And, you um, you know, another one that gets mentioned that people seem to like this kind of a hidden gem is that, that pool bar, the Turtle Pond Snack Shack. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, so a lot of people say that that's a really good, we haven't tried it yet, but, um, yep. a lot of people talk about that as being like a really quality pool bar. Yep, and you've also got Goods Foods to Go, which is kind yep. of their quick service option, which is right there next to the gurgling suitcase. Um, we had dinner there back, I think, in December. We, we well, it was like a late night snack mm -hmm. that we had there, but um, some pretty good options there. They had like a loaded. I'm a sucker for like homemade potato chips, mm. like the homemade fry like if, if if something at disney says it comes with chips i'm like are they homemade or are you just gonna give me a bag of lays right, right. if they're homemade sign me up i'll take whatever it is i don't care what the main course is at that point uh, but they have like a loaded potato chips Ooh. at at that place those were and i think were they pulled pork or brisket yeah it was pulled pork yeah, yeah they were really good and if you know they have some seating outside if it's too cold outside they redid the lobby and it looks awesome and they put like some tables and chairs in there and so we actually took our food from goods and went and sat inside mm -hmm. the lobby in one of the tables and chairs uh, we had a really nice time so 
Yeah. But like you said, that whole area that's out around there, that's mm-hmm. around the main pool, near the boat dock and everything like that, they occasionally have characters that come out mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, you can get pictures with characters. Um, they've got cornhole boards. They've got all kinds of games and stuff like that. So it's really a place where I think it really harkens to the community. Oh, there's that word. If anyone's playing the drinking game, harken. I said it. Um, I joke with him all the time. <laughs> and sometimes when he says it, I'll hear it again in like 10 minutes. I don't think I've ever used that word my, my Oh, so. uh, apparently I use it every five minutes. Harkin, 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 <laughs> is harkin, harkin. is I don't want to interrupt your thought, but is there a sauna at the pool at Old Key West? I, in that building? Isn't that what that is? I believe so. I'm not sure if it's in the building or if it's in the lighthouse itself, but I do believe That's what I meant, the is, lighthouse building. I do believe there is a sauna. Which is that would probably make it the like only the one only on property, property that yeah. has a sauna <laughs> associated with the pool there. Yeah. In a pool. Yeah. I don't know what I was saying before. Harkin, I'm so harkin, sorry. harkin, harkin. You talked about community. Um, yeah, no, just the feeling of community from all of the members there. People want to interact. Like I, I think people plan to like go to Old Key West at the same time of year just to see friends that they've made there. Like that's that's the mindset that they went with with old, with uh, with Old Key West and with Disney Vacation Club in general when they first created it, and it's sort of blossomed into this just absolutely crazy fun amazing community i mean it's why we have dvc fan it's why we do this show is is because of old key west i'm curious to know if those original members thought that it would be become what what it is today like did you know like did you were you able to see into the future and you knew that it was gonna just become this huge how many resorts are there now 50 15 15 dvc resorts yeah because when you when you like originally owned there like that was your option you went to Oki west and you stayed at Oki re- west yeah every the year disney vacation for, club for 60 dollars a point and free annual passes <laughs> oh my and, goodness oh the list could go on and on back if, when i joined <laughs> yeah, if i had my time machine i would go back and buy as many old key west points yes. as i could and i would just go bankrupt in old key west points and then fly back to the future and sell them all <laughs> and take my annual passes yep. with me. Uh, the other thing with uh, Old Key West, they recently did get a little bit of a refurbishment. Uh, it has been a little bit now, so I think it was like 2018, 2019, if I remember mm. correctly, when yeah. the refurbishment at Old Key West mm. did occur. It is probably what I would describe as the last refurbishment before the era of Murphy beds or the pull down beds. So it is the last full refurbishment before they brought that concept into rooms and things like that. The next was Saratoga and that was where they first injected those. And now it seems like it's going to be everywhere. I do love those. They yeah. are brilliant and they are so beautifully done. Yeah. Um, I love the artwork on the on the Murphy beds and you know how you can't even really tell that it's there. I want one for my yeah. house, but yeah, they don't have that old QS. But the rooms are just no. so big. And, so. No, and you know what? I absolutely it, that is my favorite bathtub. I like to take a nice bath and the that one like bedroom. Pool. Yes, the bathtubs and the one bedrooms, and and I'm sure they're in the the higher you know categories as well but that what is like triangular size mm-hmm. and you're right like you could swim in it you could swim in like it. i hope they never change that like i know they've they've kind of changed the style you know of what they've gone with but i love that bathtub but, and it's a resort where i don't feel like it has to be perfect and i think that's part of the charm as well is that over the years it is going to show a little bit more wear and tear but that's really kind of what makes it a little bit more special they they're not going for the flashy over the top thing here at old key west they don't need to be riviera they don't need to be that sort of level of sophistication and charm and deluxe level they're going to continue to get clients at old key west because people just love that resort for what it is yes and if you want you know especially if you live up north and you're coming down to florida and you want to feel like you're in florida you will feel Mm -hmm. like you're in florida at old key west it is such a typical beach property you know Mm -hmm. there's so many of those little properties all around florida where you take the little golf carts and you drive around or there's like a little trolley or a little bus that takes you from villa to villa and that is really what you're gonna feel like it's still old pastel colors right Mm -hmm. yeah that feels like bahamas type of exactly it's like the florida key you are gonna feel like you are in florida at this resort yeah yeah any other thoughts on old key west 
I think we've we've covered most of them. It's definitely, by the sounds of it, a fan favorite of this group. Um, and also an easy resort to get into as well. You know, whatever points you have, uh, whether they uh, be uh, resale, direct, no matter what, when it, within the zero to seven month booking window, you're going to have a pretty easy time of getting into Old Key West for what you want. Probably the upper level categories um, might fill up a little bit quicker. Obviously, for certain seasons and things mm-hmm. like that, those will fill up more quickly. But we've never really struggled to get into Old Key West when we yeah. wanted to go there. So, yeah. So when you go to book... Um there are two booking categories, so there's no view categories, um, but everything, whether it's studios or one bedrooms or whatever, are split between near hospita- near hospitality house and then there's, there's just like the regular. And so the near hospitality house area encompasses like the Miller Road area and, and kind of like the area behind the hospital. Well, I guess it's in the front of the hospitality house there. Um, so those just mean that you're like closer to the, the, the main lobby, um, you know, and some of the dining. And then there's all the other areas, which is like Peninsula Road, um, you know, Turtle Pond, South Point. Um, and those are a little further away. So maybe not like an easy walking distance. We like walking it from, you know, wherever we're at. We stayed as far as Turtle Pond Road. But, um, you know, you could also easily hop on a bus and and be at the front. Um, you know, the is, is it the Disney Springs buses that pick up at the, the hospitality house last? Correct. So, yeah, so if you hop on one of those, you know, it's going to take you over to the hospitality house anyway. Um, so, so, you know, even if you're farther from the lobby, there's always transportation and stuff like that. Um, but the hospitality house booking category does book up quicker than than the regular so we've never actually done near hospitality house but we actually like being out where it's a little quieter a little more peaceful um so especially if you have a car if you know if you're not taking the bus system then it really doesn't matter yeah um but and it's only 10 to 15 minutes to epcot and about 15 to 20 Mm -hmm. minutes to animal kingdom or magic kingdom i mean really really not bad and it's it's if you have a car it's definitely a great that's yeah and that's another good point if you do have a car like you, this is like one of the only places where you can park literally right, pretty much outside your room. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like very close to your room. So, yeah. And you don't realize how close, like 10 to 15 minutes to Epcot. That's only because you have to go around Epcot to get to it. But we were there over the holidays and we heard this noise late at night and we literally went outside and like the fireworks for Harmonious were right there. Mm-hmm. You're basically right behind mm-hmm. the the World Showcase area back yeah. where this resort is. And so the people that were on um, the, the third floor and stuff like that, they had a great view of the fireworks and all of that kind of fun stuff. So um, awesome for those reasons. And um, I'll leave you with one last thought only because I just remembered it. I was talking to a member not too long ago and she was one of the original members of Old Key West. Uh, she was renting her points with us, but she reminded me that that um, she's always booked on the phone. And the reason she's always booked on the phone is because when Old Key West opened, that was the only way that you could oh, book wow. Disney Vacation Club rooms yeah. was over the phone. Were computers so, even around? I don't know. If, you, <laughs> <laughs> if so, it they... It was like, Dial up to try to get a reservation. Please sound bite that panda for us of the computer noise. Detailed. Yeah. But yeah, that just uh, it, it just tells you, you know, how time. long uh, Old Key West has been around. Well, um, yeah, check it out on your next trip to Walt Disney World for sure. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow along in the conversation over at DVCFan.com or the DVC Fan Facebook group. We've talked about that many times. That's where we have our own little online old Key West community, kind of where we talk about all things Disney Vacation Club and share our stories and things like that. That'll do it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you all next time.